five, four, three, two, one, zero. Release. Engines at full thrust. Lift off. You must know, ten. Nine, Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Engine ignition. And lift off. Lift off of an Atlas V rocket and Landsat 9, continuing the legacy of an irreplaceable 50-year record on our ever-changing planet. Control system response looks good. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Vehicle has begun the uh, pitch over maneuver. Body rates look good. Now passing 40 seconds into flight. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Pump speeds and injector pressures all within expected ranges. Now 55 seconds into flight. Vehicle is now completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses continue to look good. Three minutes remaining in the first phase of flight. Pump speeds and injector pressures on the RD-180 oh, continue to look good. For operation 70, step 30, adjust the security roadblocks. Dispatch teams to slick 3 east. Or to slick 3 Body eight. rates continuing so to look good. Pull for pad entries. Roger. And at 1 minute 20 seconds into flight, Atlas is now supersonic. Vehicle passing Mach 1. And vehicle is now passing Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 performance continues to look good throughout boost phase. Engine's now throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. At 1 minute 50 seconds into flight, vehicle is now 10.7, correction, 13 miles in altitude, 7.9 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. Now, just under two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. At two minutes, 18 seconds, the Atlas V vehicle now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. And vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Body rates indicating a slight adjustment uh, can be expected for this phase of flight. And the reaction control system on the Centaur is now pressurizing to flight levels. System pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 50 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good throughout boost phase. Body rates remain stable. Now passing three minutes into flight. Approximately one minute remaining now until booster engine cutoff. And now three minutes, 15 seconds into flight. Atlas is 48 miles in altitude, 70 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,600 miles per hour. Pump speeds and injector pressures on RD-180 continue to look good throughout boost phase. And the Atlas V is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And Centaur's begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6G acceleration limit in preparation for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre start on the RL10, standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. 
and we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately 12 minutes, 11 seconds. RL-10 performance continues to look good in the early part of this first burn. Now passing 4 minutes, 47 seconds into flight.